Hey Sabre fans, welcome back to another, you know, Graflex build vlog. And today I decided to be a little more specific on the Nano Biscotti because this is the essence of the Sabre. Without this, we cannot have any power to the lightsaber, it's just a static prop otherwise. Of course, the other components are just as important, but the Nano Biscotti is the one uh, that is responsible for the entirety of, you know, the functionality of the lightsaber. So basically it's small, as you can see it is tiny compared to my fingers and the you know, soldering well, holes inside where I have to solder. It looks you know, regular, it looks normal in the camera, but right now the way I'm holding it, it is, it is tiny. My fingers are huge. So for all of those who are new to soldering or you know just want to make a lightsaber for the first time, you think to yourself, okay, I've got the board, I've got everything, now what the hell do I do with it? What what is it? what does everything mean on this board? What what does it mean? So relax, don't panic, take a deep breath, wait for the for the camera to focus. <clears throat> and when it doesn't focus, I'm going to pull it out of focus and um, I'm going to explain things myself. Okay. So what we have here, uh, it comes with a uh, SD card and essentially it has a lot of components. Now, this is the Nano Biscotti version 4. There are not a lot of differences with the version 3, but um, essentially it is the same. So if we go over the board, starting from, the, from this side, you will see, if the camera will focus in just a few, there you go. Starting from the left, I guess, from your side of the screen over the right, uh, you see a little plus over here. That means that's the battery positive. That's where all of the positive wires from, well, the entire build are going to connect. Right next to it is the negative. Every single negative wire, except for the negatives of the LED, which go over here, will go here. It will be best to color code every single one of your wires just so that you do not get mixed up during the process. Now, the third slot is the LED, the negative of the LED that is, and the positives, of course, are going to go to the battery positive. Next is the flash on clash. The flash on clash on the previous uh, iterations of this uh, soundboard was a separate circuit board on its own which was an add-on and it was a feature that a lot of fans wished that it could be into one board. As of Nano Biscotti version 3, that was possible and that's what happened. And Nano Biscotti version 4 uh, carries on with this improvement. Instead of having a lot of boards, you just have all the features that you want into one board, which makes it easier. So the one in the middle is the flash on clash. Basically, when we have our three dies, are royal blue and blue. The flash on clash is going to be the white flicker that is going to be activated when the clash uh, sensor is activated. So that's going to be a cool effect. I hope to uh, pull it off when I build a lightsaber. Next is the little ACT, if you can see. I don't know if it's you know visible properly, but it says ACT, which is your activation switch. Now you're going to have an activation positive and an activation negative. Now, <clears throat> your activation positive, from what I believe, is going to go to the activation switch on the board. Your activation negative is going to go onto the battery negative, which is the second one over here. And the last two on the other end of the board is the speaker, positive and negative. Now, it's not that much of a deal which you solder on to positive or negative, and they're going to be color-coded essentially the same. The speaker does not work the same way with the battery, so that's that. Now, some other specs on the board is the famous, if, you, if I see it first, well, let me get a screwdriver to show you exactly what I mean. Okay, where I'm pointing at right now, there's this little, little hole at the end at the nose of my screwdriver and decided to unfocus right now. There we go. Right there is the, well, let me just check it myself. I think that's a deep sleep pad. 
I don't know if that changed and this is the deep sleep pad. Maybe they just, um, I'm thinking this is the deep sleep pad. I don't have a laptop as of yet. Well, um, something unfortunate happened and it was stolen from me. So I do not have the manual, but I'm thinking that this might be the deep sleep pad. I'm not 100% sure. And this is a 3.3 um, volt outlet, which is used for um, also a positive wire. Uh, a lot of people like to use this uh, port, I'm going to call it a port. Uh, they like to use this for the um, accent LED, the small diodes that they use for the crystal chamber. So if they do not want to wire on a resistor, that's what they use. Unless they go for the battery positive and they use a resistor accordingly. So basically that's that with the Nano Biscotti. Now you're going to be asking questions like what are the rest of these, what are the other holes? You shouldn't worry about them. What you should focus on on the Nano Biscotti is these main seven holes. That's what we're going to be working on when I'm going to be doing the um, well construction of the Graflex on my future video series, which I'm hoping that is going to be very useful. Now if we flip the board, uh, everything has come upside down and there's less things here. Of course, there are a few, you know, sensors in place and stuff. And over here we have the uh, micro SD card slot, which you just take your micro SD and you pop it in when you're done soldering or doing any works on the board. It is not recommended. Actually, I'm going to say it, it is prohibited to have your SD card in place when you are working on your board, when you're working and soldering on your board. It is a definite no-no. You do not want to solder on your board when you're using, um, well, you do not want to use your SD card when you are soldering on your board because it might damage the card, it might damage the board. And these things are not cheap. Uh, I mean, it is the most affordable board out there but they still are quite expensive. You know, it is a great expense and it's not easy to make and it's it's not good to waste these things. People uh, work very hard to create these boards and you know, if we just waste them, uh, it, it's, it's just gonna be, you know, sad if we let this happen. Um, and let's say that you screw up your board you want to order another one if you live in Europe like I do you're gonna to have to wait at least two weeks and if you have waited so patiently for one board why should you screw it up that's the thing so basically that's that now that we've switched the board around this is where the speaker is going to start because if we switch the board all the way flip it again this is where our speaker is Oops, there we go. Speaker positive, negative. Now, if the board flips, I'm going to flip it just slowly so that you can actually see. Now, this is where the speaker is going to be. The reason why I'm specifying this is that when you decide to solder your board, let me get my bag. Wait, that's not it. Ah, hold on. So this is the back end of the uh, 3D goth chassis. Now, since I'm going to be working on a crystal reveal chamber with the specific night chassis from uh, 3D goth designs, um, this is only going to apply in this case. If you want to go with any other chassis, that is just fine. But for my build, I'm going to be going with the night chassis. So essentially, your port is going to go uh, upside down with the SD card slot facing up and it's going to slide into place like this. You do not want to hurt it. You do not want to stress it too much. Just use your nails and there you go. It's going to make a clicking sound and as you can see, it fits in beautifully. So the whole logic behind this board, it is not 100% aligned. I don't know if you can see it in the light. It's not, you know, like touching uh, the 3D printed plastic, it looks like it's still in the air. 
but do not let that worry you. The way that you can actually decipher if it is okay is when you use your SD card. You just take your SD card, which comes preloaded with now the Nano Biscotti has, I believe, three fonts, light meat, gray meat, and dark meat. And essentially, this is what you do. You just click this in. So when it clicks inside, when it clicks in place, that means that the board is loaded. So when I do it again, the SD card pops out. Pops in, it's ready, pops out. It's ready to be removed. You remove it and you can configure it from there on. So what do you want to take from this? Uh, the Nano Biscotti is an improvement from the 3 uh, 0.0 because, well, I think that the difference is the deep sleep pad. Now, if you want to remove your chassis, uh, your board from the chassis, uh, you, you need to be very careful. You need to be precise. Now, it looks nice and flush like this because we haven't soldered any wires to it yet. So, when we've got some soldering onto this, and you know, there's going to be a whole lot of cables going through here. Uh, our recharge port is going to be underneath here. Our resistor for the LED is going to be inside here as well for the um, accent LED, which is going to be, you know, illuminating the crystal in the chamber here. So basically, it's not going to be this harmonic. It's going to be one chaotic mess, but don't get stressed. I'm just saying these right now so that you have an idea that it's not going to be as tidy as it looks right now. I mean, what I'm just trying to say is that I do not think that the board is just going to fit into place like this with all of these things going on around. Now, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I like things to be tidy. That is why I got this chassis. It's because I want all of my electronics and all of my components to fit in someplace so that it looks nice and tidy and cool. So how do I take this off? Which is very simple. I just take my screwdriver over here. Oops. And... Um, I just basically, let me show it again because I don't think I got that properly. Okay, you've got your Nano Biscotti in here and you're like, I do not want to ruin this. So you take your screwdriver right here. And all you do is just gently pull it up. And then you take the screwdriver from the back end of the chassis. Damn it, I can't get it to focus properly. And you just push it out of place. There you go, so it just popped out and you can gently take it out again. We're gonna put that back in its bag because we have some painting to do in the foreseeable future. Here's our SD card. So that's that. That is the Nano Biscotti version 4. It's a small summary. I'm pretty sure that other people know it way better than I do, but like I said before, I'm a rookie. But the basics, these seven slots that I'm gonna be using, I believe that I know them, and that is all that matters for now. So, um, I don't have an Nano Biscotti version three to compare it to, and I really haven't done my homework into going over what the differences are, but I'm pretty sure that, um, from what I see and from what I've studied so far, there are very few differences. I can tell, I already told you before what the differences between the 2.0s were, but oh well. So that's that. I hope you guys found this enlightening and I will see you in the next uh, Graflex build log. Hopefully I will be showing off my core band kit, which is going to be here by the end of, you know, uh, well, the week that's following today. It's Sunday, so Monday, Friday, I'm hoping to have the Corbett kit. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.